are back with Kinsley Jones and Dr. Bill Rutherford, who are behind the movement to classify poverty as a disease. Now, also joining us is Ryan Blair, a 27-year-old entrepreneur who says, look, he's overcome a lot of adversity in his life, and he did not have to classify his poverty as a disease in order to do it. Ryan, you don't look homeless or impoverished, but you were, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely. And there were enough labels put on me go growing up in poverty that I didn't need another one. And I think that it's just another excuse. I think that when we're growing up the way I did, we're constantly told we have attention deficit syndrome. We're told we're stupid. We're told we're inferior. And all we need to do is be labeled as disease and give us one more disempowering belief that will kill our self-motivation to overcome those circumstances. Because that's all you have is self-motivation to overcome those circumstances. Tell us how you grew up. Um, you know, I was subject to a very poor environment. Um, mostly emotionally poor and uh, you know I'll, I'll tell you that we didn't have nice things whatsoever growing up um, I lived in about the worst circumstances you could possibly endure emotionally socioeconomically a series of foster homes as well you name it mm -hmm. I was made aware of the court when I was 15 years old drugs alcohol hurt your family yeah my uh, my father became addicted to drugs at an early age and I lost him when I was 13 years old mm -hmm. and my mother was as well. Uh, doctor, uh, does Ryan just not understand that poverty really is a disease because Ryan is white and therefore can't relate? Um, I, I think that we need to focus on the facts. And the facts tells us that um, if you are, for example, African American, you can expect to receive inferior health care if you interface with the healthcare delivery system. Medicare's own database will tell you that African Americans have the highest amputation rate in the world based upon race alone, regardless of income and regardless of insurance. I'm sure your story is compelling and it sounds quite emotional, but I think there's some data that we really need to explore. Um, African Americans, um, in addition to that, our communities are not conducive for the access of health care. Our communities, we, we have the uninsured. I, I still, doctor, don't see how this makes well, poverty a disease. And disease, you're talking about the lack of resources. Disease, you're talking about lack of resources in, in, a, in a neighborhood. You're talking about a, 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 um, a an area where there aren't the same kinds of opportunities other people have. No one's no one's uh, doubting that. How does that make it a disease? Okay. There are there are white people who are poor. It's an excuse. Absolutely. It's not. Right. An, it's not. It's not an excuse. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ryan, it's an excuse. You know, I made the choice. As human beings, we have one choice, and that's it. And one power, and the power is choice. I chose not to be poor. Okay. And if you label me as having a disease, then you're taking away that choice. Okay, first of all, I think that his argument is uh, severely flawed in that nobody... Nobody chooses to, to be, be born poor. into poverty, Absolutely. first no, of all. No, 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 you make, you make a choice, you you make a choice to all. overcome it. Yeah. Okay, That's what he's all. talking about, you make a choice okay. to overcome it. It seems to me old, Ryan makes but, a very good but, point, doctor, but, because I think you're hurting people, you're giving them a crutch by telling them you have a disease. Instead of saying, okay, Absolutely. you were born in this situation, you don't have a lot of money, you may have a bad home environment, but you have a moral obligation to do your best to overcome your condition. That's your job. You allow them an excuse, a disempowering belief. I disagree with that once again in that let's look at the facts. We see in our communities, we see the violence, we see the disenfranchisement or the marginalization, particularly African American and men. That's because of broken homes, doctor. Broken, yeah, homes. broken homes. So, so yes, you can pull yourself up by the bootstraps, but what we're talking about is the masses. You have their individual successes and their uh, exceptions to the rule. But doctor, I think most black people are middle class or better. They are not exceptions, most they are black the rule. People they are the rule. I, I don't know about that, Larry. I don't the way know about you overcome that. poverty is by finding the right mentors and by setting and achieving okay. goals. Okay. That if is most, it. If most, yeah. there, there are great opportunities in this country, but if you are riddled with disease, you can't even exploit that opportunity. So what we're saying That's is that... That's a disempowering that, belief that no, you're allowing if, if, people if to adopt. If you, do not, if you do not have the resources to be healthy in the first place, you cannot uh, extract that opportunity that is here. Doctor, so I, said, agree with you, said, I agree with you. A lot of people are not taking advantage of the opportunities this country provides. Because there are, there are, there are number people one, because they don't have number uh, the resources but that has to be to do healthy. With, that has to do with attitude. Yeah. That has to do with attitude. It, it nothing, has nothing to do, do with being, having a disease.
So, Kingsley, go ahead. No, that, that also has to do, uh, that, it also has to do with, with uh, uh, or you say the choices, and we do need to take right. personal responsibility. And I'm a believer that we need you, to take personal responsibility. You put on seminars telling people to do that. Absolutely. But to try to take responsibility, you have to fault people for living in poverty or living in their circumstance, but you also have to fault the society that creates that poverty and creates that environment. And that's part of what we're talking about. I know of no society where poverty does not exist. It is something that we have to deal with. If you label it as a disease, it makes it more difficult to overcome. Uh, John Fitzgerald Put Kennedy said that the greatness of a nation is by how she measured her most disenfranchised. And name me a nation that does not have poverty. Guy. And if, uh, if, if our country is all that she is supposed to be, and, and I love this country, and this is part of my country, I think that we should be able to serve the most disenfranchised people. I agree with you. I, I Absolutely. Really, really, and the way you do so is by getting in the right mentors, by educating them and by helping them set and achieve their goals, by being inspirations to them, people, by being motivational, people are not who, by being disempowered let me tell you what letting people them think are. that people, they have a disease. People are right. some right. totals right. of their life experiences. People are some totals of their life experiences. Well, you are what you process. All right, we're going to take a break. Ryan, I couldn't, I couldn't agree with you more. You nailed it. You nailed it. We come back when I meet a young man who says that Kingsley has cured him. If it weren't for Kingsley, he'd still be poor. We'll be right back.